Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris. Today we're gonna to be making a roasted butternut squash, sweet potato curry. It's got those amazing fall spices in them. It's got the clove, the cardamom, the cinnamon, it's got the ginger, all those beautiful warming spices. I learned how to make this dish when I went back to New York during the pandemic for my girlfriend's mom. She's Nepali, and this is a little bit of a, a spin on that dish. I hope you guys enjoy. So we're gonna start by chopping up our vegetables. We have some beautiful butternut squash and sweet potato already peeled. These vegetables are coming into season right now, so it's great for the fall season. So we're gonna start by chopping up the sweet potatoes first, and we're gonna make sure that we chop them all the same size so they roast evenly. And then while we're chopping these, we're also gonna preheat the oven to 425 degrees. So by the time we're done chopping, the oven will be preheated and they'll be ready to go in. So we drizzled on some olive oil, and now we're gonna season it with some salt and pepper. And then once it goes into the pan with all the other ingredients, after it comes out of the oven, we're gonna season it with all the nice fall spices and aromatics. Right now, just simply salt and pepper. So we're gonna start by chopping up some garlic. We have about eight cloves of garlic, and we're also gonna be chopping up some ginger. We have about a one inch piece of ginger, and we're gonna mince both to make a ginger garlic paste and that's gonna be the base of the aromatics before we put them into the pan. Alternatively, you could do this in a food processor. It'll work just the same. Next, we're gonna chop up an onion. We're gonna give it a medium dice. We also have two tomatoes. We just have vine ripened tomatoes and we're just gonna give these another medium dice as well. Uh, we have some of the nice fall spices that we mentioned earlier. We have bay leaves, we have cinnamon sticks, cardamom pods, star anise, and we also have some cumin seeds. So we're gonna start by taking a medium sized sauce pot we're gonna put on medium low heat. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil to it. And we're gonna to toast the spices in the oil for a little bit. The smells that you're gonna get from this are gonna be phenomenal. It's gonna smell like fall in your house. After the spices have toasted, we're gonna add the garlic and the ginger. We're gonna saute the garlic and the ginger until it becomes slightly golden brown. You wanna keep it on low heat so it doesn't burn and give it like a stir every once in a while. Next to the pan, we're gonna add the onions and the tomatoes. We're gonna give this a, a nice stir. And now we're gonna add some cumin coriander powder. Probably around a tablespoon. We're also going to add some turmeric in, about a teaspoon. And we're also going to add some cayenne pepper. If you don't really like spicy food, you can just leave this out, uh, about a teaspoon. Next, we're going to add some salt and pepper. You can just add this to taste. And we're going to turn the heat up to about medium. So after about two to three minutes of sauteing on medium heat, we're gonna turn the heat down to about medium low. And we're just gonna let that stew. And it's not gonna really stick to the pan that much anymore since we have it on lower heat. 
We just want to develop those flavors and the spices infused into the aromatics more. Again, we're going to stir it every 30 seconds or so. It's still going to slightly stick to the bottom, but just not as much. So we're going to let this simmer for about eight to 10 minutes. And then once this is done, we're going to add the sweet potatoes and the butternut squash to the pan. So we're going to put this on medium low heat. Now we're going to add two cups of water. You can also use vegetable stock if you have that as well. And now we're also going to add some garam masala at about a tablespoon. And we're going to give this a nice stir. And then we're going to cover and let it like steam and simmer for around six minutes. So now this has been simmering for about five minutes. We're gonna add in about one cup of frozen peas and then we're gonna cover it and then just turn the heat off and then it's ready to serve. The butternut squash curry is all cooked. It's ready to be plated up. It smells really delicious. Uh, we cook some rice. We cook some jasmine rice. It's one of my favorite rice. It goes really well with the uh, butternut squash curry. So we're just gonna plate it up. Really smells amazing. I'm really excited to eat this. We gotta add some dal to this. It's gonna really complement the dish really well. I'm really excited for this. This is my one of my favorite dishes. Mm. The dal complements the butternut squash curry really nicely. Really balances out the flavor. Great. You get the sweetness from the butternut squash and the sweetness from the sweet potato and the little pop from the green peas. Really, really nice. I remember the first time when I tasted this when I was at my girlfriend's uh, mom's house, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Mm. Just as like how I remember it, the butternut squash and the sweet potato, it, it's, it, they become so sweet and the onions just melt and the, the spices from the cinnamon and the clove and the, and the cardamom, it really all comes together great in this curry. And the dal complements it really well. Mm. I hope you guys really enjoy this recipe. Definitely as much as I do. Please like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below, and let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching.